It's good, Drew. See you then. So the nice weather drawing an unwanted pest outdoors. Yeah, this year, a word of caution about the Lone Star Tick. CBS 58's Michelle Fiore joins us live in Milwaukee tonight. That's one I haven't heard of, Michelle. Yeah, Natalie and Bill, climate change has allowed the Lone Star Tick to track north. Infectious disease experts this year are certainly looking over that, connecting it to many issues, including the Heartland virus. This is Kata Young's happy place. Hiking and camping, um, being outside as much as possible. But first, a little spray because a tick bite years ago has changed her life. I continued to have worsening and worsening symptoms. And, um, and it was really frightening. A Lone Star tick got her in Nicaragua. A white star in its back, um, a red body, and it had bit me on my leg. The site on my leg was infected for about two and a half weeks, and I had strange fever and migraine. The next decade, strange things happened, an anaphylactic reaction to morphine, then an allergic reaction to cheese, and later to short ribs. My heart was racing, um, and then I started vomiting, and the inflammation and the hives began. Young's doctors weren't sure what was going on. It all came back perfectly normal, so they, they treated me as if I had a panic disorder. Then a chance meeting at a picnic gave Young the answers she'd been searching for. I heard a voice behind me say, oh, do you have alpha gal? Alpha-Gal syndrome is just one thing a Lone Star tick bite can cause. Heartland virus is another. As far as I know, Heartland virus hasn't been found in, in Wisconsin, but you know the tick that, that carries that virus um, can be found in Wisconsin. So I think you know it's one of those things where we're in a surveillance mode, um, trying to see if, if that disease might spread into Wisconsin too. Dr. Dan Shirley says protect yourself with long sleeves and pants at dusk and dawn, bug spray that includes DEET, and do a tick check after being outdoors. Kata Young's condition has worsened over the years. Still, she's not giving up what she loves. I continue to live um, very close to nature. It brings me a lot of peace. Now, if you're heading out to a Milwaukee park like this one anytime soon, be sure you have that bug spray with or without DEET. Kata Young says no DEET works just fine for her. Reporting live in Milwaukee, I'm Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News. Something to watch for, Michelle. Thank you.